I have the, uh, the privilege, I, I'll introduce our student and then uh, the final benediction will be given by uh, Chairman of the Board, Ken Burke, wants just a, a couple of minutes to, uh, to say thank you. Uh, I've been a president for uh, 20 years and um, <laughs> had a chance to work with a lot of great students. Uh, in my short time here though, I've, I've met a young man who is, uh, is truly extraordinary, would be at the, on my top five list anyway and maybe at the top of that list. Spencer Reed recently was named the USA Today's 2011 All-USA Community College Academic Team, 20 students out of 1,600 finalists nationwide. Uh, Spencer was selected as the program's top scorer in Florida and as such named him a New Century Scholar. I need to, to make good though, we, we had that short speech at graduation and uh, the moment overcame me and I forgot to hand him his trophy. <laughs> <laughs> So Spencer, <laughs> long awaited, okay. This is the one you really want. Though. All right. Thank you. Let me tell you a little bit with the, uh, Spencer is the president of the St. Petersburg College Honors Students Consortium. Uh, he served and led this group with enthusiasm and passion. With the support of the college research faculty and honors students, he was involved in founding the college's undergraduate research society, a student-run organization that conducts biomedical research in partnership with the Veterans Administration. Here's the really interesting part. Uh, he is the co-author of a study uh, that was completed and published last year. I'll try this. Uh, flipping switches, CD40 and CD45 modulation of microlial activation states in HIV-associated dementia. Okay, the associated <laughs> dementia I get, okay, the other parts <laughs> I, I don't get, okay. But it was published in the Molecular Neurodegeneration Journal in January of this year, first undergraduate who has that honor. Okay, Spencer was the first uh, college, uh, St. Pete College student to become accepted to present his research at the National Collegiate Honors Council. He was, uh, we've said his uh, All-American. I need to introduce to you Spencer Reed. Thank you, Dr. Law, for the introduction. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as Dr. Law said, my name is Spencer Reed. Um, I'm a biochemistry and a molecular biology undergraduate student, and proud to say that as of uh, last week, I'm a graduate of St. Petersburg College. I'm particularly honored to have been asked to speak today since, as an SBC alumnus, especially since my success at the college is due in large part to the collective support and tutelage of my faculty. When I first heard of SPC three years ago, I was initially drawn to the school when I received a letter in the mail stating that I had won the Presidential Scholarship, which was an award that covered the first two years of tuition costs. I did not originally have my eyes set on attending SPC, or any other community college for that matter, but it wasn't until that I realized my health issues that I'd been dealing with since early childhood would prohibit me from leaving to a major university that SPC would become my chosen institution of study. Today though, I strongly believe in the education I have received here. For me, in specific, the Honors College and its faculty at SPC have truly made my time here at the college as successful and rewarding as it's been. Honors education allows students uh, the opportunity to enjoy interdisciplinary research, interdisciplinary learning environment that focuses on undergraduate research expansion of their intellectual curiosity, and involvement in civic and social engagement, all of which are aspects of learning which SPC fosters as well. Honors courses have not only enriched my learning of the subject matter here, but have led to independent research projects that have allowed me, for example, to work with faculty one-on-one -on -one, uh, who engage in biomedical research at the VA hospital, as Dr. Law mentioned. This research experience led me to become accepted for a highly competitive summer neuroimmunology research internship at USF's medical school, which led to a co-authorship of a research study published this February. Additionally, I was selected to present a research project of mine on the plausibility of environmental toxicity in the pathogenesis of familial autism at the National Collegiate Honors Council conference uh, this winter, or last winter in Kansas City. This is the largest gathering and most prestigious gathering of college and university honors programs ac across the country. As an undergraduate student, this was an absolutely amazing opportunity. And all started because I had a remarkable professor who worked closely with me during a semester to develop my abstract for my honors thesis credit. 
These types of research experiences are not uncommon at St. Petersburg College and occurred because of the close-knit learning environment which permeates the college community. I strongly believe that my undergraduate encounter at a huge research university would have been markedly different where I would have been an eight-digit number lost in a sea of 25,000 students. St. Petersburg College stu encourages its students to explore their academic dreams to make them truly unique and well-rounded. The college does so by allowing students like myself the opportunity to learn amongst a distinguished faculty, enroll in a diverse offering of courses, and, and creates concrete professional passions from their students' goals and aspirations of whatever they may be. As I look to the future, I can say without a doubt that I am a more dedicated student, have a more inquisitive mind, and see my professional future more clearly because I am an SPC alum. I have been accepted to programs at several top research universities uh, across the country, such as the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology at New York University, and the Department of Nutritional Biochemistry at Cornell University. I have my eye set on Johns Hopkins, as uh, many of you know, Mr. Burke included, <laughs> uh, and I'm still waiting to hear from them, but uh, if I don't get in, I'm sure I can settle for an Ivy League like Cornell. <laughs> Isaac Newton said it best in 1676 when he said, if I have seen further, it is only by standing on the shoulders of giants. My faculty here are my true giants, and SPC has provided a superb learning environment with which to realize my academic passions. I'd just like to mention Dr. Law and our Board of Trustees and thank them for making accessible and, and available all of the opportunities which have enriched my time here at the college and catapulted my future in academia. Thank you all very much.